Are you in the market for some wireless headphones? What if I told you that there was a $30 Bluetooth headphone that sounds almost as good as headphones costing 10 times as much? And before you say I don't know what I'm talking about, let's just say this isn't my first rodeo. If this sounds too good to be true, keep watching to find out more. Hey, what's up guys? ODI Productions here from RecordingNow.com with yet another Honest Headphone review. Now, if you've seen my other videos, you know that I've covered premium headphones ranging from Sennheiser to Audio-Technica, Bose, and more. We're talking about headphones costing between two to $300 and above. Well, today I have something quite a bit different. You are currently looking at the Bluteo Turbine T2s. What a name, right? I've heard about the Bluteo brand for some time now, and when I found these on Amazon with over 2.5 thousand reviews, I figured there was nothing to lose with the price tag just under $30, $29.99 to be exact. So when they arrived, they came in a simple cardboard box, no frills obviously at this price point, and I took them out. Immediately they looked and felt like a toy, I mean seriously, this thing looks like it came with a Happy Meal. Obviously I wasn't going to complain because for $30, just the fact that these have Bluetooth is a good value already. Being Bluetooth, the headphones come with a built-in rechargeable battery and accompanying micro USB charging cable. Anyways, so I paired the headphones up with my iPhone and it paired up without any problems which was nice. All I had to do was turn the headphones on, turn Bluetooth on on my phone, select the headphones, and voila, ready to go. One cool thing is that there's a voice that says when the headphones are ready to pair and when the device is connected. It also says power on and power off, which feels low-key futuristic. Also, the control buttons on this thing are so intuitive. There's a scroll wheel that lets you skip to the next song, play last song, and if you press it, then it acts as a play pause button. There's also volume controls above. Overall, you can easily control everything from the headphone itself, which hasn't been done very well by much more expensive headphones. So to get to the sound quality, immediately when I started listening, I was surprised by how big sounding these headphones are. Although they look like a toy, the sound is very powerful with a lot of bass presence from the massive 57 mm drivers. For size comparison, the Beats Studio Wireless comes with drivers smaller than 50 mm. The sound is clearly bass focused with a ton of punch, although a little muddy. What surprised me with these is that usually bass heavy headphones drown out the vocals and the higher frequencies, but vocals still seem to cut through just enough to be enjoyable. As with other V-shaped headphones, the mids are practically non-existent. So what you're left with is a very fun sounding headphone that isn't fatiguing except for maybe the bass. I have no problem saying that these $30 headphones stack up to much more expensive wireless headphones like the Beats Studio Wireless. Now if you're a diehard Beats hater, you'll probably say that isn't much of an accomplishment, but trust me, it is. Alas, no headphone is perfect, and certainly not this $30 headphone. Now that we've covered sound, which is easily its best quality, it's important to know what you're not going to get for $30. The first is build quality. Everything is plastic and fake leather, and like I've said before, they feel like a toy. Now, I have no doubt that this is about as good as it gets for $30, but just know that you have to be careful with these or they could easily break. They also don't come with any sort of hard shell case, so you're gonna have to travel with caution. Next is the styling. Now, forgive me because I chose this Blastoise blue colorway, but I figured since the name of the brand is Blue Dio, it was only natural. With that said, these do come in a black colorway, which I'm sure many people would prefer to be seen wearing in public. Aside from that, these have a pretty interesting design, which is not downright ugly, but it's not exactly stylish either. Lastly, comfort is subpar since these are on-ear headphones as opposed to over-ear. They aren't terribly uncomfortable, but most over-ear headphones are better for long listening sessions. Well there you have it, a headphone that sounds almost as good as $300 headphones for a tenth of the price. Now that may be a slight exaggeration, but seriously guys, it doesn't get any better than this for $30. The value here is as massive as the sound. If you're interested in picking up a pair for yourself, make sure to click the link in the description below for the lowest price available. 
Last but not least, please thumbs up, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. It really helps the channel out and your support allows me to keep making more videos and reviews. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat for all the latest updates. My username for all three is at ODI underscore productions. That's it for this video. Please make sure to visit recordingnow.com to see all my headphone reviews. Peace. Thank you.